are so many creative ways to express love for your special someone out there. So showing us how to carve the ultimate gift out of a log is the only man that I know that can do it. Ken! Hello! Good to see you, buddy. I love this. It's very, very old school. When I was a kid, I actually carved my names in the trunk of a tree. At that point, it was just me, so it was just kind of K. C and V, I just C saw. and V. Who I'm could that just, be I'm for? Just saying, you might want to take that Cameron home. and Vanessa, I love it. So I was inspired. I actually saw this in a scene of a movie um, that's coming up this Saturday, Secret Ingredient. Yes. With Aaron Cahill yep. and Brendan Penny. Um, and there's just this wonderful, like, moment um, and this long with their initials carved into it, which to me is just so old school. And I'm like, why does that have to be out in the yard? Let's yeah. bring it in and make it sort of house decor. Absolutely Plus, right. we get to chisel. And I have, have never you... chiseled everybody. I'm going to learn how to chisel. This is very exciting First, for the because... sewing machine. And I know. That's chisel. true. It was my first sewing machine with you, too? <laughs> yeah. I'm yep. learning so much here. It's fantastic. Okay, so obviously we're going to start with like an aesthetically pleasing, good, right. chunky log that we right. want. Right. And one thing you want to make sure is it is a log that will stand up. Right. There are a lot this of logs guy. that won't. And yeah. you can find these. Some lumber yards have them. Look up online for your local fire, firewood place and you'll find these pre-split. Okay, very cool. Um, so then all you're going to do is get a um, piece of chalk and okay. go ahead and draw out your, let's find a good Okay, so you're kind of going to map it out initially, exactly. right, to know what we're going to work with. I think we're right here, with. and we're just going to draw our heart on here with a piece of chalk. Yep. You want to nice. make sure you leave enough space that you can put your initials in. I noticed Ken didn't later. ask me to draw the heart, which is probably wise. I know he knows your strengths. I know your strengths. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. It would be very lopsided. If I and now it. we're okay, going to get a good old-fashioned chisel. Now, um, folks at home, if you've never seen a chisel, I actually have my grandfather's set of chisel sets. Dude. It's got that. It's flat on one side. It's got a bevel on the other, and it's got a metal tip right here, which is where you hammer it with. Ken, do you need these uh, these um, guys yeah, I for put, these? I, I mean, little pieces of wood. On. Now, I, I understand, uh, even though I. I don't have experience with this. I understand there's a real proper way to do this, and we should all be very careful. So yeah. take us through some of the essentials. So first you want to get the outline. And okay. to do the outline, you want to get this the slanted section and put it on the line, okay. and you're going to go just straight down. Okay. You can get a, use a wood mallet, or you can use a regular hammer. So for the outline, we're going straight down because we're just literally creating the, the border. Right? Exactly. And you want that to be nice and clean and straight down. How exactly. Far, how do you know how far down you go? You can kind of feel it because really all we're going to do here is take off the bark. You're actually not really taking off wood, so it's actually not nearly as difficult as it looks or sounds. Are you going to ask me to try some of this or am uh, I just going to stand are here and Are you kidding? The whole time? reason I'm doing this... <laughs> so that you can do it. Okay. All so right. now um, I'm going to let you actually do the. You, you want to get the line? Yeah, first? I want to try you just some wanted this line. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I right. am very talented. Okay. So let's we keep don't going. have to do the whole thing, but then once you do that, you want to go to this center. Let's pretend the whole thing is done. I want to make sure you okay. home can see. Okay. So a couple we, of safety things. Yes. When you chisel now, we're going to start going at an angle. You always want to chisel away. Never chisel towards So as yourself. you're working around your shape, whatever the shape is, you're moving the log, you're not moving yourself. You know, exactly. Words, yeah, you you don't want to start doing so you're that. You're constantly working away from your face. Exactly. Very good. And what we're going to do is just put you want this down. You me to hold down. it? Yeah, sure, hold okay. it. Hold and it what you're going to do is just start taking out the middle. And you're going to do it at that angle. And you can see it's just going to like, oh. just like that, super easy. And then nice. when you get to the edge, it's going to pop right out because that's where you did the um, where you did the line. And what I notice also is you're not actually putting a whole lot of force in there. Like, no. you know what I mean? And it's, you see, it's just the it's just the um, bark that's popping okay. right up like that. All right, get in there, Sub, buddy. Get in there. Switch. Okay. Right. Hold it. Are you going to hold it for yep. me? It's going to fly off the table if it's not. <laughs> all that strength, all that power. <laughs> I've got a lot of power here, Ken. Exactly. Great. Now, what's going to happen here? Yeah is you're going to sort of, it's going to be a little rough when all the bark is out. Now you've gotten exactly. to the wood. And I notice that, you know, it's so smooth, so there's got to be a step where we it's take care of that It's not really that. Once you're done with the hammer, you get all the bark, you're just going to go through with your hand. Okay. And you're just going to do it with your hand, and you're going to get that little stuff up. Okay. And you just sort of keep doing that. Gotcha. I'm not, I'm not and doing it's my going part to be, here. Yeah, you're supposed to be, whole, you have one yeah. job. Yeah, one, one job. job. Well, you know, <laughs> I was getting distracted by your amazing technique. And don't you dare knock this guy off the table here. This is the one for C and V. So as okay, you see good. that, now we're yeah. starting to get that line. I have one I've already done. So just keep doing that. It's a nice, you know, if you want to do it old school, do it on your front by porch. By the way, you, we literally just did this in a few minutes. And look right. how smooth that's already coming together. Like, we've definitely made a uh, headway there. And as Very you keep done. going, as you can see here, this one had a good thick bark on it. You're going to get that nice line. And 
that's all just by hand smoothing, just taking your time, going through it little by little. And I noticed that you've got some sticky letters there. Right. So, so and I also two want to ask about these. Yeah. Right. So if you don't want to get into the wood burnings, it's yeah. just adhesive letters from the craft store. And all you're going to do is just pop them on. Super easy. Aw. Very, very Mike. easily done. Voila. Just like that. But if you wanted to get fancy, which oh. you know how we like to get fancy. You've got the double heart. Double heart. Oh. All I've got here is a wood burner from okay. the craft. And Get actually, those. I did not put on one of the tips. I find it's easier with this rough wood. And then all you're going to do is just, it's almost like using a, wow. a Sharpie on here. That's amazing. Very easy. Again, you want to be careful with this. It does get hot. Don't let kids do this. That is so But the wood nice. burning, don't think that it is a difficult, hard thing. Go on with pencil and then just slowly. Can Trace. My over. repertoire of DIYs Voila! is expanding. Sewing, wood carving. I mean, this was pretty cool. We're doing everybody. basket weaving next week. Are we really? No, we're not. Well, we might. Well, we could. We might. <laughs> Tune in and find out. Full instructions on this project. <laughs> Visit HallmarkChannel.com. I got excited. What do you want? <laughs> hey, be sure